Hi, this is Dan from userspice.com. I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about how to upgrade an existing user cake system to user spice. Um, why in the world would you want to do that? Well, user cake is a great piece of software and it served people for a long time and uh, still definitely has some great uses. But one of the things that a lot of people are wanting now is a more modern encryption system in the database and newer reCAPTCHA and just an, an ongoing base of support. And so that's kind of where User Spice comes in. We, I'm a big fan of User Cake, and so I want to keep the project going. I want to give people who built something on that platform the opportunity to upgrade and get more modern features while still maintaining the old code base. And so what we're going to do is we're looking at this existing installation. You can see if I come over here and go to um, the system I can log in and I get logged in and it's just a fully functioning normal user cake I believe version 2.02 .02 system if you come over here and look at the database you can see that I have the standard database structure I haven't messed around with anything and so um, you come in here and this is this is the problem right here the the main problem that people look at is that the encryption used to to encrypt this password is no longer good enough um, you really want to use bcrypt you want to use something more powerful and you want to do this right your passwords are important um, you have a lot of users who reuse passwords no matter how many times we tell them not to they do it and so you want to make sure that this stuff is encrypted so what I've done is I've gone and just downloaded the normal user spice um, user spice files this is just a normal user spice download and in here there's some instructions and the instructions kinda walk you through this um, but I'm gonna take you through it in person so when you come here and you look at I'm gonna go into my www folder my UC upgrade these are the normal files I highly recommend you back this up um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be overwriting files but we're not gonna be touching your database um, so you shouldn't lose any key information, but say if you have something important stored in your index.html or .php and you don't want to lose it, back it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do a backup. I'll just call it underscore backup. And then I'm going to take all these files and I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead, we'll copy them just for the fun of it. We'll copy them in there. So the existing files are sitting there. And now I have my user cake or user spice download and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these files and I'm just going to drag and drop them right over top of the existing system so we're going to I'll use TerraCopy I'm going to tell it to overwrite all and voila so I've dragged and dropped all my files and I've overwritten everything but now I need to change a few settings this is all kind of laid out in the instructions for you so we're going to go in here to models and we're going to go to this settings file. Now I've got that open in my code editor and you'll see that you're going to get the default user spy settings in there. So you want to go ahead and you want to put your own name of your database in this situation. It's UC upgrade. Um, my username is root. My password is nothing. This is an offline system. If you want you can enter your uh, your copyright information here you're going to eventually want to change these recapture keys so you don't get a nag notice at the bottom of your site but all you have to do is save that and you can close it and then the next thing you need to do is you need to come in here and you need to delete the install folder since you're not doing an install again we're not touching your database we're not messing around with anything so um, anyway once you do that you can come over here and you can go to UC upgrade and you'll see that you have the full user spy system now what happens I'm gonna sign out that's gonna mess it up but that's that's my fault um, so when I sign in what's gonna happen so I'm gonna put in the same username that I had before and the same password and I'm gonna check that I'm not a robot but unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to log in it's gonna say my username and password is not valid why is that so when I come in here to this you can see that this thing thinks that my password is that which is what it was in the old system but that is not um, that is not right so what you want to do we're gonna go back to the instructions for a second because I gave you a temporary password and so 
There's a couple different ways you can do it. If you read the instructions, uh, instruction five says there's two different ways. What you can do is I'm just going to temporarily change my password to the word password, um, which here's a little hint. That's what it was before. Um, so you're going to go in here to the database and you're going to double click this and delete whatever's in there. And you're going to paste that thing that I gave you in the instructions. Now when I come back here and I refresh, and go to sign in, I can go admin, password, and log in. <laughs> How about that for a demo fail? The next problem you're going to have is that when a user comes to their site and they come in here and say user1 and they type in their legit password and prove that they're not a robot, they're not going to be able to log in because they still have the old school password. And so that's a problem. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here and I, I listed this in the instructions. If you open them up, you can see that um, what I said to do is to go into login.php and you're going to come down to a line that says make upgrade change here and what you're going to do is you're going to put the number two after user or account or user or password is invalid and what you're basically doing there you wouldn't normally do this um, on a site but we're going to be a little sneaky you don't want to tell someone if the username or the password is incorrect you don't ever want to tell them which one it is and so um, the reason for that is it would just make it a little bit easier for somebody to do a brute force attack. In other words, if they go through and they keep saying, you know, usernames are valid, usernames are valid, then they type in user one, all of a sudden they're gonna and they get a different message, they're gonna realize that hey, that that's a way I can I can start attacking user one. Um, it's not really a big deal if you don't do it in an obvious way. So what's what's gonna happen now is by adding that number two there, you're changing the message they get but you're doing it in a subtle way. So we're going to come back in here and I'm going to try to log in as user1 um, and user1 already has an account but their password would be incorrect. So what's going to happen is when you do that you're going to come in here and pass your recapture. Well, I'm guessing they're calling that amount and we'll see. Uh, I'm going to say not. Okay so <clears throat> when you log in it says we have upgraded our technology to pr uh, better protect your account. Please click here to upgrade your password to our new system. And so now when you do that, they can come in here and type in user one. And I, to be honest, I don't even remember what uh, email address I used for this one. So we'll come over here and get user one at AOL.com. I'm sure they would know their own password. And now it's going to send them the reset instructions so they can reset their password and get the right, um, the right kind of account. And so Anyway, that's what you have to do. Um, you can also just let them change the password directly on here. That's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, in, in a nutshell, that's what you need to do to upgrade, to get the latest encryption, to get the latest recapture. Um, there's some things in there to help with the cross-site scripting, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's about it. I hope that helps.